Once you've created an API, you can begin to do things to it, such as impose rate limits or enforce policies. Starting from the API's listing, choose the API you wish to configure. In this case, I'll choose the Yahoo Weather API I created earlier, and then I'll choose the policy editor. The editor is divided into two main sections. On the left, a palette that shows the available pre-built policies and the parameters for a selected policy. And then the main canvas that displays the model of the API's request and response flows and the policies applied on each flow. Now I only have one resource in this API, so it doesn't matter which I choose in the flow menu. I can apply policies to all my resources at once, or I can drill down to a specific resource such as the get forecast RSS that I set up earlier. Now that I've chosen the scope at which to work, I'll drag a rate limit quota onto the request flow. In general, these defaults are pretty good. I'll call this policy minute minder. And to be able to show the enforcement, I'll impose a harsh limit, say only three requests per minute I'll save this as the current revision, which will save the changes and redeploy. Now I can test it out. And on the fourth try, it throws an error. Okay, now that I know it works, I'll back it off to something like 50 requests per minute. But before I save this, there's something else I'd like to do. Right now, I'm getting XML from the RSS feed that Yahoo Weather provides. I'd much rather get JSON so that I can work with it more easily in my JavaScript app. To do this, I'll use a mediation policy of XML to JSON. First, I drag it onto the response flow. The defaults look okay, so I'll save and redeploy the current version. And now when I make the same request as before, I get back JSON. There's also a code view that lets you get more directly at the proxy configuration, but that's a video for another time. 